It's just us against the world. Never stop, forget it if I want it. I gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bama vs. the World. I am your host, Big Mike, brought to you, as always, by the Herb and Raj podcast. And it is a huge week in Alabama as the Georgia Bulldogs come to town. It is the biggest game of Kalen DeBoer's early Alabama career. Uh, and what better way to get into it than to have our conversation that we have every week with a Bama fan, with a Georgia fan. We will get together, talk about the game a little bit, preview, and, and see what they think. Uh, without further ado, let's get to the stars of the show, because I know you don't want to look at this guy all night. We'll start off with Mr. Bama. Uh, Mr. Bama, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastically splendid on this beautiful Monday evening, Mike. How are you doing? Man, I'm doing good, man. Ready for some football. I'm ready for this game. It, it's yes. going to be an exciting game uh, in yes. Bryant-Denny. Uh, should be a lot of fun. I, I, speaking of fun, I see you, you're you a fun Bama, um, so yes. hopefully we'll yes. have yes. a little bit of fun this weekend uh, during the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And during the pregame, you know, to get ready for it throughout the week, uh, uh, which we'll get into here in a little bit. But we can't have a game without an opponent. And as always, we will introduce our opponent. He is Mr. Georgia, Mr. Dogs, coming from Athens. How you doing today, Mr. Hello? Uh, Mr. 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 Um. Okay. Um, Mr. Georgia, I'm, I'm afraid to ask how... How are you doing today? Um, Greetings, Alabama. We meet again at last. The circle is now complete. Where you once, I once was the learner. Now I am the master. Okay, I guess uh, I guess what Mr. Georgia is referring to is is that this is for Kalen DeBoer's first game against Georgia, first SEC game um, in in Alabama. The Nick Saban is gone. The uh, the the guy that kind of owned Georgia and Kirby Smart over the past few years, um, I, I, so I, I guess now he's the leader of the empire. I guess is. I, I um, find your lack of faith disturbing, Mike, and your insolence I, will not be tolerated. I, I, that is understood, sir. Uh, but uh, we will get into the game. Uh, there is a game between, which should be a very very interesting matchup up here tonight. We come um, to destroy you. <laughs> Oh, 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 Mr. Emery, you okay? Yeah, I, when he put his hand up, it kind of did something. I felt something. It's really weird. I thought that was just in the movies, but... Oh, crap. You don't know ahead, the Mike. full extent of my powers. We shall crush you. Okay. Um, okay, okay man. I'm, I guess I'm just, with, with that ominous... Time, with, with that ominous lead in, we will get to Mr. Bama. You are the home team. Uh, again, we've talked about it. You know, I've mentioned it a few times. Uh, Kalen DeBoer's first SEC opener uh, in Alabama. Uh, Georgia coming in, the number, I guess, number two team now. Texas has kind of overtaken them as number one. Uh, Mr. Rema, how are you feeling about the game? What are you looking forward to on Saturday? Oh, man, you know me, Mike. I'm always in a good mood, man. I'm feeling great about this game. Somewhat anxious, a little nervous, but I know that's, the nerves are going to go away as the game starts. Um, I, I know we're going to do good. Uh, we're going to win by a lot of points. We're going to play well. You know, quarterback play is right. going to look good. Hopefully our, our offense looks much more explosive than it has been in the past. Well, actually, it's looked explosive pretty much all year. Um, feeling pretty good. I got to admit, when this guy came on with his little outfit, his cute little suit and everything, kind of made me nervous a little bit. Uh, big Star Wars fan myself, but I, fan, fun Bama is is really, really kind of like bothered Bama right now. So I, I don't want to change my screen name or anything like that, but this guy is making me nervous. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> Please don't hurt. As well, he should. Um, he is obviously uh, Darth Vader, the the leader of the Empire, the 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 main bad guy in the Star Wars. I never knew Darth Vader um, was a Georgia fan, though. I, I did not know that. Didn't see that. In the uh, we will we will and maybe we'll get some clarity on that, Mister Georgia. Um, you know, coming into coming into Tuscaloosa again, the first time you guys get to play against somebody not named Nick Saban in Tuscaloosa in a while, or against Alabama. Uh, since with this newfound confidence, I guess, that you are now the leader of the empire, um, how are you guys feeling coming into, into Tuscaloosa Saturday? We shall crush Alabama, and we shall make the college world ours. Okay. I have a question. Um, I have a question, Mike, before we continue. Okay. So do you just have, like, a really, really extreme form of asthma, or is, like, how does that work? I've seen the movies, but with the mask and you everything. You will find out. Cool. 
and your insolence will not be tolerated. Stop. Now, nah, step, step, Mr. Georgia. We, we do. We, we don't. We don't condone actual violence here on the show. So this please is a refrain show about from football. You do indeed condone violence, but not on the show. Uh, that it, we're, uh, we saved the violence for Saturday. Yeah, uh, Mr. Bama, I would refrain there. from I'm asking any more questions just because of what happened that last time. I, I, I would, I would, I wouldn't ask you to let me handle all the questions. Um, you know, because obviously you've got a couple other shows to do this week. Uh, I, you know, I'm expendable. If he's going to choke somebody out for asking questions, let him choke me out. It's okay. Yeah. I, I'll, um, I'll handle the bulk of the shows, Mike. You could, of course, you're there. I'm, you know, I'm definitely going to use you as well. But I'm not sure about this guy right here. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know where we're going with this, but he's making me so, even more nervous than I already was. So, but I do want to ask. It is a very rare situation where both teams are coming off of a bye week this week, uh, Mr. Bemba. What did you guys do last weekend during the bye week? How did you How did you spend the time off? Um, we we, we from what I was told, we we're allowed to give the guys some time to relax, took them to like some local Mario Kart like type dra- racing thing. Um, let them just let loose for a little while. Why are we wasting time talking about weeks where we didn't play? Who cares? How does your breath smell play? under that? Cause all that, cause everything you're spitting out is coming right back to your eyes. And it's got to fog you up a little bit. Your breath smells like baby puke. You have no room to talk. It actually does. I got like two 14 months old. So that's pretty accurate. Wow. I, I don't yeah. know how you knew I, that. You, Probably. I do my homework, and then I will crush you. Darth Vader has homework. <laughs> Hate to see that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, sorry to answer your question, Mike. Uh, yeah, we, we did a little Andrew, Mario Andretti racing type thing. Um, a lot of the guys really wanted to just get together and play NCAA um, 25, so it's the new college football game that came out this past summer. But just let them relax. No, no going to the strip. No having a great time. Just, you know, talking, getting together, and just, you know, hanging out. Okay, right. um, and based on how you reacted to the lot to the question, uh, Mr. Georgia, I but I do want to ask, you know, maybe maybe you didn't enjoy any time off. Maybe you worked we over the nothing, over the bye week. We game planned to destroy Alabama. Okay. That's and that, that that's perfectly Football that's a perfectly is life. That is a perfectly acceptable answer. I would that is that's perfectly fine. However, you spend your off time is your business. Um, I guess what happens in Athens is going to stay there because nobody wants to do anything there. Um, yeah, but at, cool. anyway, we'll get back to the game coming up Saturday. Um, Mr. Bema, if you had to name one thing that would be a key to the game coming up on Saturday to defeat your opponent, Mr. Georgia, Leaving what, what would you say? Defeat traffic will be his only goal. Okay. Um, Mr. Georgia, let, let's let Mr. Bema, you'll have your time to talk here in just a second. So just, just, just I know you, you like to be in control and be the leader of everything, but you know there is a way that this works. So this is this is out in my show. So I'm going to need you to hold off and let Mr. Bama answer. Um, so Mr. Bama, what's what's the key to the game coming up for you guys this weekend? I think the key to the game for us is um, Miro's decision making. I think that's what everything is going to come down to. If you watch uh, replay of the SEC championship game from last year, Miro made some really, really quick decisions, whether it was running or passing the ball, had some good protection up front. Um, we ran the ball well, he, but ultimately it's going to come down to, to his decision making and what he decides to do or not to do with the football. Uh, can't take any of those deep sacks, no backing up six or seven yards and taking a sack, throw the ball away. If you feel like running, if you see the blitz coming, go ahead and run. We're not going to get mad at you. We just want to get through this game unscathed. Okay. And Mr. Jordan, same question to you. Other than just crushing Alabama, which I've heard you mention a few times, we show what's up, the key to, to doing that? Win. Alabama Ooh, okay. has no chance here. All right. Um, you have no chance. And, and I guess the L- <laughs> Saban cannot save you this time. You are doomed. So I, I guess I guess you guys are going to be hoping that Carson Beck has better aim than your stormtroopers because last time I saw they weren't very good. So the people under your run last time didn't have very good accuracy. Or... So oh, okay, sorry, sorry, Mike. I, I mean I, I I'm hopefully you have trained these these warriors and and troops <laughs> better than you've trained the last ones because um, they couldn't shoot worth anything. Uh, yeah. So I guess we'll see. But we will get to final predictions, Mr. Bama. What's uh, what's your final prediction for the game, the score, and everything like that? 
Uh, saying that Darth Vader might be at the game, that's going to give them a few powers that obviously we cannot control, and it's going to give them allow them to score a few touchdowns. But once once we once I get off the phone with Luke and kind of figure out how to control this whole force thing, <laughs> uh, then uh, we'll we'll be able to take the, take the lead and regain the lead. I'm sorry, and um, take full control of the game. I'm going to say 31-21, Bama. Um, anything higher than that, we might get another late touchdown in the fourth quarter, like kind of like we did in the past few games. But right now, I'm going to keep it at 31-21, Bama. All right. 31-21, Bama by Mr. Bama. Uh, Mr. Georgia, I'm, w- would you like to predict a score, or are you just going to go with crushing Alabama, or would you like to actually to put three, numbers to it? That is the exact score. It's been four 50, 50 to, to three. three. You are an idiot. Um, um, all right, then. So there you have it. Uh, 31-21 from Mr. Bama, 50-3 from Mr. Georgia, Darth Vader. Um, uh, hopefully everybody has a great game on Saturday, has a lot of fun, uh, and enjoys a lot of football. You know, this game is at night, so enjoy some big games early in the morning and the afternoon. And then the big one, Alabama versus Georgia, 6.30 at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Uh, have a great day, and, and hopefully <laughs> – Hopefully he doesn't kill us, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, Roll Tide, everybody. Roll Tide.